Unbound has doomed the future of Need for Speed into becoming a possible wannabe Forza clone. And there's many reasons as to why this is happening. And I, I am going to blame people for this too. Like some people I'm going to blame for this. <laughs> because they kind of, they basically advocated for this to happen. Without intent, with, it's like intentionally and not intentionally advocating for it to happen. But anyway, yo, you're welcome to a video. The video is just talking about my concerns of Need for Speed and that Need for Speed is... At the Unbound is technically no longer Need for Speed. It's it's Need for Forza Forza Bound at this point. I, that's what I look at it as. Anyway, yeah, I'm making this video because I'm 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 just gonna go ahead and do it. I'm gonna just I'm just say that this that Unbound is technically the worst Need for Speed in existence. I'm sorry, but it's the truth. And the reason why is because the people that's behind this game, which is a disappointment to me that Criterion, like you would have expected Criterion to make the game at least like High Pursuit, Most Wanted 2012, or even Payback. Payback did it the best because it was, it was just that much better. It was that much flawless. Payback was that one game that had satisfactory in racing. And it what made and it in my opinion made Need for Speed and Need for Speed. It was a it was a great direction. Like the people that was behind Payback that made Heat off was also was on some bullshit. Like Heat was also at its time in my opinion the worst Need for Speed in existence because well they purposely ruined drifting trying to make it look like 2015. And it was honestly trash. It was trash and it made no sense. Especially since you needed drag tires just to prevent the car from spinning out all the time because there was really no actual car control unless you made it to really feel like it was payback and that wasn't even enough because payback in my opinion did it best. With Criterion, they could have did this for Unbound. Unbound could have been a game where grip and drift could coexist in the exact same area and it could be used in their own ways and sadly they took that direction and said no let's go this direction the direction where they completely dump drift into a garbage and make it to where you don't even want to look at it and that's and that's where it's like it's trying to be a wanna be for it's a clone because there's actually there's actually stuff in this game that kind of screams hey i'm trying to be like forza and one of those things is the fact that they're trying to make grip the sole purpose of the game the fact that they made drifting so bad and so unlikely able to be used in any in any kind of way rather if it's drift events or not every other game technically follows this this fundamental of racing just like forza gran turismo and all those games and need for speed just stands out as need for speed and i liked it when payback was out but now that unbound is out and is trying to be like those games it's like looking at those games all over again it's like oh well so another one of those again you know what I mean? it's one of those things it's just a it's just a it's just disappointing to look at for real they made it to be so bad that you don't even want to look at it it didn't make grip the sole purpose of the game ain't nothing wrong with having grip but the problem is when you throw away the one thing that's made modern need for speed modern need for speed it's technically it's it's like throwing away a child it's like throwing away a child that you and, and your loved one have planned on and it brought joy to the both of you it's sad because like i said this is criterion that made unbound honestly in my opinion it would have been a flawless game if it was like that especially if they added especially if what if they just did just make grip coexist i i don't mind that because well, i'm not gonna lie the grip and unbound it does fit it fits perfectly now, if what they did was not make it to only sole purpose of the game, it would have been so much better because then you could just, you know, you can just do grip all day. You can do grip all day or you can do the mix of the two. You can do grip and you can just take corners and angles in high speeds, which is also another thing that they stripped away from this game, basically. They stripped away the fact that going sideways at high speeds on corners isn't fun anymore. Like, honestly, it was always fun. 
especially on payback and payback if that thing was technically the one thing that made payback payback to begin with and it's honestly the core thing that made that was making need for speed and that's kind of and that that basically just got threw away in the garbage because the devs was listening to people who swear up and down they know what's best for need for speed and they just basically said the same thing which is basically coordinating to every other racing game that's out there that's not like Need for Speed. It's be like, who oh, just be like fools? Like, this game should be like fools and this and that, you know what I mean? And it's, it's, that's when I'm like, just looking at the game and just be like, okay, this this game is obviously trying to be like fools. Like, this is not Need for Speed. <laughs> if this was Need for Speed, I guarantee you it would, it would, it would be Need for Speed. The customization does not make Need for Speed, Need for Speed really to me. What makes Need for Speed, Need for Speed is its gameplay. And the unbalanced gameplay, honestly, was like, okay, that's just disappointing as fuck. I know I'm going to piss some people off saying all this. If this video even gets anywhere, I doubt it. If it does, though, I know it's going to piss people off. Like, I, like yeah, that's just how it is. It's how it is. And, I, and, I, and, I, and I, yeah, there's definitely people that told me before. That they don't like Unbound because it's simply trying to be a game that is not really is for real. And it was better the way it was when Payback was out. And even though Heat was in the middle where it was trying to be one game, but it was still Need for Speed in there. It was like, you know, looking. it's like looking at Unbound is like trying. It's like looking like looking at a game that's trying to be like Forza. It's basically a game that just wants to fit in with the one side that don't even like that either that either don't like Need for Speed because it's not like Black Box and all those games, or people who swoop say that their favorite car is the Supra, <laughs> and they and they and they say they from the underground scene, and I'm not gonna lie, it's the cringiest shit. I, I'm I kid you not, I actually can This happened one time before when I was. In somebody's stream, Need for Speed and Unbound is just an identity crisis at this point. It's it's a game that doomed the future of Need for Speed, and I hate to say it, but because Criterion made this move, it's not gonna change. And sadly, I don't think it would even see the light of day to change, because you know it's Criterion, and you know people like to gobble gobble on Criterion, saying that oh, they're the best. Like yeah, they're the best, but not no more to me, not no more because. They pulled this 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 unnecessary thing for Need for Speed, and now it's gonna be like this forever. Like, I'm not gonna let no sales or numbers dictate if a game is good or not, because I felt for that so many. I basically felt for that so many times. Asphalt Nine is sort of an example, but at the same time, the numbers do match back then. Like, the game was actually fun back then, but the way the game is now is like I don't think. Like numbers, like sales numbers or whatever, that's never gonna change how I feel about if a game is successful. Or not. A lot of people won't want to, won't even want to play Unbound because they see they see how much of a of a copycat is trying to be the Forza, especially with the whole jump system. It's honestly the worst thing they could have did. Like the jump system in Need for Speed in general was balanced. It was good. It was all right. It didn't need to be like Forza, because if, if y'all don't know, at least people that don't play Forza, or never play Forza, or just don't remember how Forza, Forza is, Forza has this realistic jump, like jump and, you know, airtime stuff, where it basically acts as if you're actually taking air and stuff like that. So the airtime is longer, the distance is longer, and everything. So if so you're basically in the air for a long ass time. And let's say for off-road, you know, you coming across bumps and stuff like that, and make the car go, gotta make the car go up, down, sideways, upside down, go crazy, go stupid, you know what I mean, type beat. It's supposed to simulate what it'll be like in real life, and you have no, you have no actual control when you go, like when you're in air, so you just have to hope that the car just lands, <laughs> and don't just land on its top, but on either all fours or just, to where it's gonna land and not do some dumb shit. He tried to do this in Unbound, and this is this is honestly the the, the sad part because it's so sensitive. And when I say sensitive, I mean try going over like a uh, going try try driving over like curbs or 
mediums you can drive over try driving all over those in like speed and you will see just how sensitive the shit is especially when it's just like off-road it's like oh my god man it's just the most annoying thing they did and they didn't need to do that they could have kept it exactly like how it was where the jump it was just balanced it wasn't it wasn't obsessive at all but it also wasn't to where the car is completely planted to the to the road it was just perfect it was a perfect balance and pay like payback in 2015 oh, man. i wonder well 2015 did it best really because it really wasn't no jumps for real but payback he did it best because it was balanced yeah you had a, a jump upgrade option in payback but it still was balanced enough and of course a lot of cars have problems with jumping because they had sometimes clip the curb and it would cause them to commit suicide and stuff like that but the jump was still balanced to the point where the car still stayed planted to the road and not feel like it was just you know out of control unbound is like you trying to drive and you drive over something in high speed you just gonna lose control and it's like it's trying to be like forza so hard and i just don't understand why it's trying to do that like i'm always say this to the day that a good need for speed comes out which will never happen that payback did it best payback was the best need for speed that came out when it came to its gameplay it's again like everything about payback minus the nitrous exploit and minus the upgrade system it's just an identity crisis and i just can't stress it enough that it is and i hate the fact it's like this because it's really because of the people that swear up and down that they know is best for need for speed and though and the people behind the game was listening to those people like they were spitting facts and they really wasn't they was just saying they were just talking out their ass because they could and they and they they felt like they was gonna pay more attention to them but sadly worked and the big push of this change is really because like also it's because of them too but it's also mainly because of the youtubers the youtubers specifically i'm gonna say is black panther straight up hip hop which is technically He's technically background character, technically just a background character to uh, Black Panther and LP Ripper, which is te technically just an announcement character to what Black Panther says. And the reason why I'm calling, and the reason why I'm saying these three, even though it's really two for real, is because they they were basically advocating for the game to be like this without actually advocating for the game to be like this. I hear them say that they don't that. They don't like how the handling and need for speed is when it came to payback and stuff like that. And that the game should be like grip at least in their words they say it. I don't really I'm not about to try to look through all of that because that's way too much to be doing for real. They really they really was just advocating for this shit to be like this and you know, sadly it's like this. I know I'm a, I know I pissed off a lot of people saying that, but it's the truth. Like they are basically the reason why Unbound is a wannabe Forza clone. I'm, a, I'm like, pay like Un Unbound did some good stuff. I can definitely say the tier system is something interesting. I can vibe with that. You know what I mean? Because at least every single car can get used, and it won't feel like you just have to be in a fast ass car, a maxed out car, all the time. It's some it's things that they did right, but it's just a lot of stuff they got wrong on purpose. Because they were listening to the wrong people. And I'm not, and I'm just, it's just, it's just how it is. The game is a wannabe Forza clone. People, that, pe people probably ain't gonna think that it's trying to be like Forza, but in reality, it is trying to be like Forza because it, it has to, it has the sensitive jump system, and the fact that the curves can just fuck you over in the most worst ways possible. I also want to mention that in races, the draw bridges. I don't mind the draw bridges actually working, but when it's a race, you know, that shit is so annoying because this is also another reason why it's just stupid because the jump system, like I said, is sensitive as hell. So with the draw bridge up and it's a race going on, let's say you going like 200 plus down the street in a race. There's one race in particular, and I don't really remember the name of the race, and I quite frankly don't care either, but there's one race where you going where you going straight down, and by the time you get to the drawbridge, period, you'll probably be at 
200 or 200 plus depending on your car and if the drawbridge is up literally your car is gonna go superman in the air and when i say there is no chance of surviving it if you're gonna land into a pile of parked cars which in my in my opinion stupid get rid of that for races honestly we're at an option to turn that shit off to turn traffic off period where there's no parked cars no moving cars no nothing because that shit right there is just a detrimental to any anything when it comes to racing nowadays and people forget to just add an option like that so it's just more of a you know option if you want to deal with something like that or not but yeah, you it's, it's you either have no hope of surviving, you just gonna crash into a pile of cars, or you gonna crash into a wall, or you just gonna get fucked over by the game's logic. Because there's also times where, when you land, you die instantly. It happened to me a couple times, which is ridiculous. So it's just it, it's just a mess, man. I don't I don't see no hope of Need for Speed being any better than Payback at this point. Yeah, Payback has its downs when it comes to the Nitrous exploit, which caused a shit ton of controversy, basically. And the upgrade system, which, yeah, it was tedious and annoying as hell. Payback in 2015 will always be those two games that basically is way better than Unbound because of what they do. And since Criterion ain't see that, and they did this, it's really just no hope. So, Need for Speed is forever gonna be a wanna be Forza clone, and I ain't really, I'm not, I'm not gonna have no hope that it would be any better or by any chance be revived to be the Need for Speed it should have been. So, yeah, that's about it. And you know, I know, I know, I pit, I, I know, I pissed off a lot of people saying what I said, but it is what it is. That's how I feel, and I'm, I'm gonna stick to it. I'm always stick to that, no matter who tells me what so also uh i mean i am still doing most wanted videos i just haven't gotten to it because it's just it's just other stuff i wanted to do for a video like saints row and sadly that didn't want to work because my shit got corrupted and there's no way i can delete the save of the dlc to go back onto the mission i don't think to you know redo it so uh yeah basically i'll catch y'all later